welcome to Retro Roulette, the show that asks the question, why don't we do it in the road? I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Why don't we map and do it in the road? And Jason Amherst. Why don't we do duo in the road? <laughs> I have a feeling that's probably happened thanks to Pokemon Go. <laughs> 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 Anyway, uh, we're playing the it's SNES game. Oh, sir, it was terrible. Little Timmy was trying to find a Snorlax, and he got hit by a bus. <laughs> what a sad way to go. Oh, this will be good. Uh, he, 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 he didn't die. He just got isekai He didn't isekai'd. die. He just died. Never mind. He didn't die. We don't die. We multiply. Oofa. Uh, because, you know, that shit is Bebe's kids. That shit is Bebe's kids. Here we go. Blibbity flabbity doo. <laughs> Flibbity flabbity flu. Konami. It's snowing. <laughs> is this Batman Return? Uh, I believe it is. Uh no, it's it's uh, the Avengers. It's it's Shatman Returns. It's William Shatner you know, is a superhero. You know, Jason. Then, if you if, if you're gonna be mean, it, 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 I'm just it, gonna. It, it. I will whoop your big bald I, I beautiful mean, legs. There was a copyright at the beginning of the screen. I saw Batman. I just didn't see the returns. Well, there's only one Batman game on the wheel. So what one could it possibly be? <laughs> <sighs> You know what? You guys can do this episode yourself. Come on, Dane. Uh, use your think ears. You think he meets. You know what? You could. How about the two of you? Thank you. Thank the two you of meets. you use your compassion meets. <laughs> Why don't you use your go fuck yourself meets? <laughs> no, you want me to use my go fuck yourself meets, but you know what? Fuck you meets. <laughs> yeah, you're fucking you meets. I'll, I'll punch you in your fucking Look, meats. Penguin's gonna watch you use your fucking meats. <laughs> hey, hey, Charlie, I wanna watch you use your fucking meats, Charlie. <laughs> hey, did you, did you fuckers know that Paul Rubens is in this fucking movie? I did not know that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was, he was Mr. Cobblepot. Oh. Rest A in role peace. that he replied, uh, he reprised, actually. In uh, Gotham. Oh, very Batman. nice. Ratman Beturns. Got Ham City. As a hero who is aware ah. of all evil doings. In Gotham in got City. Doings. <laughs> doings. Yeah, th this was the slightly improved costume. Yeah. He can move his neck a little now, bit. Yeah. I was, I was reading about a quote-unquote continuing miniseries called Batman White Knight. And oh, yeah. The, the premise being that, oh, Batman is a fucking lunatic who just beats the shit out of criminals and Joker becomes Jack Napier again because of medication that Batman literally shoves down his throat. And Jack Napier is like, you know... Batman's just as bad as the villains that he fights. So, um, let's p fucking put him in jail. Yeah. The villainous Shrek. Donkey. Donkey, I'm a donkey. villain donkey. There's a woman dressed as a cat. <laughs> oh, so she's a pussy, right, uh, Shrek? <laughs> I think she's being played by Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, that's pretty hot, Shrek. Uh, I prefer I prefer uh, Halle Berry myself. <laughs> I mean, Halle Berry's fine. The cat movie she was in sucked, but she's fine. Yeah, that's what I meant. I don't care about the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tap Halle Berry's ass. That's all I mean. <laughs> Ant Man. Oh, Batman. The Atma Atma begins. <laughs> Atma begins. Atmon and the Chipmunks. All right.
Let's dive right into it. <sighs> My fucking controller turned off. Is that why we were watching? The intro was so long. <laughs> that intro was so long. So long. That I I am now an old man. Hold on a second. I will let's see if I can fix it without having to turn off the game. Nope. Nope. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Options. Game level easy, of course. Mania. All right. Seven. Let's Wait, go. Test tube. What? Hold on. One of the. Oh. Yeah. Te test tube. What do you throw test tubes at people? As I, I guess. He's not a doctor. He just huh. one on TV. You know, I wondered why the McFlurry was suddenly so shitty because, like, they weren't really mixing them properly and they weren't coming with a spoon anymore. Apparently, uh, uh, they're itching the plastic lid and the old style cup. Okay. A four flap cup that will reduce waste and help the company's goal of sourcing 100% of primary guest packaging from renewable, recycled, or certified materials by the end of 2025. I mean, that's commendable, but if you're gonna, <clears throat> if it's gonna make the uh, McFlurries taste crappy. Okay, keep grabbing them and don't fucking do anything. Them properly. Actually, do something. You can't crap. butt their heads together. I'm, They're also uh, introducing a I smaller size. I was McFlurry trying for those who want. A there we go. Piece. Couldn't figure out the fucking button combination for it. Who who wrote this article? Daddy Magic. His eggs. A little paste. A little paste. There you go. Thin Clown. These are these clowns are all malnourished. Joker doesn't feed them. Why would he? Um, He's Joker. Well, that's great and all, but the penguin is 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 who employs these people. Why is what I said still wrong? Um, Joker doesn't oh, feed them. No. Yeah. Penguin doesn't feed him either, but Joker also doesn't feed them. <laughs> well, if you go by this universe, the original Batman movie universe, Joker's dead. Oh, that's fair. Because remember, he fell off the building. Remember. And, then he was ha, 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 and there was a laffy thing in his pocket. There was a laffy taffy. Laffy Taffy. <laughs> uh, he went out eating something delicious. Mm, Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> um, I mean, it was Kim Basinger in the first Batman movie, and she was pretty hot, too. That's fair. So, uh, FTR Bald says when he retires, he's opening a uh, wrestling school. Okay. Say FTR bald. Yeah. 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 It's the two members of FTR. FTR bald and FTR gun. Okay. Yeah. You know, because one of them got in trouble for uh, you know threatening somebody with a gun. And now there's another one. That'd be like Family. if I. That'd be like if I named, uh, if Dane joined that team and then we, we just named him FTR Asshole. <laughs> it, he'd be FTR Italian. <laughs> he'd be FTR Gabagoo over here. <laughs> you know, the fact that Mike automatically just goes to Asshole shows he has no heart. 
That would be like if no, I said, no oh, heart, yes, but it. a full brain. I know. I you have yet to refute the asshole comment. Fat that, clown. That'd be, like, that'd be like if I said, oh, if Mike Riley joined, he'd be FTR fat so. Okay, and I don't refute this. You wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't you be offended? No, not really. I don't really give a oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I call my case, I call you... myself fat more than more than any of you. So. All right. Well, then in that case, you fat, 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 fat. Oh, hey, you won. Yeah. Blibby <laughs> <laughs> Get these. Get those fucking clowns out of here. Tall clown. You guys couldn't have come up with more creative names for these enemies? Where's Andore, huh? <clears throat> right? And then Andore Jr. Uh. No. I mean, to be fair. And, and, and the guy just named D. Just the letter D. Right? He was so poor he couldn't afford the rest of his first name. Correct. What happens when you live in the ghetto? In the ghetto. That fat clown was just going to bounce on forever. In the ghetto. So, in the department of, is that what he's been saying all these years? I was listening to this song, Lightning Crashes, by Live. Uh huh. Like, placenta falls to the floor. Yep. Is that what he's been saying? Yeah. That is what he's been saying all these years. Okay. All these fucking years. What'd you think he was saying? I I didn't really know. I mean... It the, just sounded like... I mean, you know, I like, old, I like live's music, but Ed, Ed Kowalczyk is not really what you would call a poet laureate. He, His songs are very literal. That song is about life and death and the cycle of no, life. I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I kind of get it. And when there's a birth happening, you know, you're going to have the the uh, the side effects of that, a.k.a. afterbirth. It just happens. It, it just Batman? That's where stem, stem cells come from. I know. I know you know. But do you know that I know that you know? I know that you know that I know that you Okay. Ham City! Ham City! Wait, what were we talking about again? The Penguin! Say, this game is pretty, pretty nifty. Yep. Disco uh, Inferno! Burn. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Burn them mother burn down. It. Burn this mother down, y'all. So anyway, Charlie, I, so anyway, I, so anyway, I started burning. <coughs> so anyway, I started, I started punching clowns in the face. Oh, it's a victimless crime, Charlie. Awesome, Charlie. Awesome. <laughs> Listen, Charlie, nobody gets hurt, and we get a big fat fucking check for it. Unless you forget to check to see if the house has somebody in it, and you burn somebody alive, then it's not a victimless crime. Hey, listen. Are we really going to miss D? Yeah. <laughs> pretty yeah, Frank, pretty sure she, she was she was my only she was my only chance to say oh, I oh. fucked one of the Olsons. Cuz there ain't no hey. way I'm getting with Mary Kate or Ashley. They'd hurt my dick. They're too bony. That, that is leave me alone. <laughs> Did any of you happen oh. to see the um, uh, commercials for the new show that Caitlin Olsen's in? What is it? Uh, she's got a new show. Yeah, yeah. It's I, on I, a I, It's on what? I did not know. It's on ABC. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. And, Are, uh, already been canceled. No. <laughs> no. Well, I hope not, because one of my one of my little 
little Lieblings, one of my little buddies, is in it. Oh shit, really? Yeah, Matthew oh, Lamb. Oh, nice. Nice. So somebody, I, somebody I've acted with has in TV is on TV now. That's that is, that's pretty yeah, fucking cool. Well, Jay's acted with him too. That's that's fair. He was, because Jace was warranty rat and Matthew was fivel, so. Uh huh. One off from fourvel. <laughs> How did I know you were gonna say it? Listen, you used that joke in your adaptation of the play. All right, I'm. It's not my I, fault. I did. I used it for the the. The David Lynch one. That's right. Or, yeah, you you use so you did you used my joke is what I'm trying to say. You liked it enough to put it in one of your plays. <laughs> so I did, uh, I, well, I did tell you that I used the joke with you, Bob. and I was fine with it, and I still am. I have no problem with that. According to uh, according to the creator of Gravity Falls' latest book, the book of the uh, I mean, book can, of Bill, we can call his by his name, right? Alex Hirsch. Yeah, Alex okay. Hirsch. Yeah. Uh, according to the Book of Bill, David Lynch is a cryptid. I I really don't disagree. You know, I don't disagree. Listen, that, that checks out. That's right. It really kind of is. Uh, a man like me being a cryptid, that really makes sense. You're right. I have big feet and live in a forest. And I sometimes I have been known to walk around naked. That's well. Don't worry because there's a big patch of fur covering my junk. You can't see shit. <laughs> that's how you I. Know, I that's how I direct. Hold on a second. If I move this tuft of fur, you can see my wiener. That's how I directed the last two years of Twin Peaks. It, well, that and copious Do amounts I of drugs. <laughs> Hey, so this bit of news know? coming out. Uh, this bit of news coming out is actually making me want to watch that uh, Netflix documentary about Vince McMahon. Oh God! Uh, uh, they contacted Janelle Grant for an interview. Oh fuck! Yeah, I, I. She sure chose she not had to. A she, she ultimately chose not to participate, though. So I feel like she'll have enough to say in court. Yeah, I was gonna say, I kind of feel like maybe she's under a uh, no disclosure kind of thing. On NDA. Yeah, that's a very good possibility. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> part of the speculation uh, regarding balance and fairness of the portrayal of McMahon's life and career. Cody Rhodes has weighed in on the matter, suggesting that there may be misinformation circulating about WWE's level of involvement in the documentary's production. Okay. As, in, as in, not at all. WWE has no involvement. Yeah. Most most of the most of the wrestlers are f too focused on, and this is how Cody worded it at the conference because he was doing he was doing the thing for Triple H because Triple H was. Going Triple to go H see his was daughter helping to, his eldest daughter yeah, uh, off to college. Moving to college, yeah. Which is a really nice, heartwarming moment, by the way. Um, but Cody yeah. was like, "Yeah, we're just focused on us. We don't give a shit about anything else right now." Like that's that's yeah. not. We, I mean, it's not to say that we don't care about the lawsuit, and really, we hope everybody that come that that deserves the justice gets brought <laughs> to justice. But right now, our focus is providing entertainment. I thought Cody handled hey, this yeah. pretty well, honestly. Hey, Cody, what about Odyssey Jones? Uh, next uh, question, he beat his wife? Fuck him. <laughs> no. Allegedly. 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 Yeah. So he went from uh, Odyssey. What you're saying is he went from Odyssey Jones to Exodus Jones. Mm hmm. That's a little uh, odd world joke for you, to for those of you at home. I'm kind of. I'm kind of wondering. What they going to do about that story? That probably because not, it wasn't the whole point. Well, I mean, that, Kofi uh, Kofi showed up on TV challenging the tag champions, and that's about uh, it. That was about all that happened with that this week. So they're probably going to have to pivot. 
and do something else. It wasn't with... the whole point that. Um, yeah, the whole point was that uh, uh, Odyssey was supposed to. Uh, uh, Carrion Cross was getting in Xavier's ear about Odyssey possibly replacing either Biggie or possibly uh, possibly him. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier was starting to turn. He was even wearing like black gear at one point, I think, last week. Uh, in contrast yeah. to what New Day's normal color scheme would be. Yeah. And <clears> then <throat> uh, obviously Xavier didn't appear on TV this week. Kofi appeared to challenge a tag champs. Because he's like, oh, they've only defended twice. And then that was pretty much it. And then, I don't know what the fuck Final Testament's going to do. Because they were so heavily wrapped in that storyline that really, at this point, like, that it'd be best for them to, like, start over at this point with somebody else. <laughs> well, you know, my work here is done. Yep. You did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. D didn't I? <laughs> no, no. Just have Odyssey Jones appear as a cheap cutout. I have to go now. My whole planet needs me. And he gets pulled up through the roof. <laughs> Odyssey Jones died on the way to his whole planet. Uh, uh, thoughts on just Batman. replace Odyssey Jones with a different O. Thoughts on Batman Returns, Dane? This here was a really fun beat em up. I, it was fun to watch Batman beat up a bunch of clowns. I mean, then again, I loved Batman Returns. So it'd be like if Batman beat up Congress. <laughs> it's true. It's true. But yeah, this was a very fun game. Jason. Yeah, this is a solid game right here. Only thing that would make it better is multiplayer. I mean, if it was a liquid game, it would ruin your Super Nintendo. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this is a great beat em up. It's a classic. Um, one of the good Batmans on SNES, probably the only one, really. The other ones are either subpar or just flat out terrible, and we'll get to those eventually. Uh, looking at you, Batman Forever. Scores out of 10, Dane. <laughs> Jason. Nine. I'm going to give it a nine. You know, as much as fun as it would be for this game to be multiplayer, let's remember that Robin or other such people had not been introduced in the universe yet. So what would it, it would be Batman and Alfred? It, it would be it would be blue Batman. It would just be an alternate colored Batman. This might be a dumb you know card. What? Yes, we will. We will go with that. So they did something similar for uh, Punisher, I believe. Punisher, I thought was uh, the second player was Nick Fury, and, and at least in the oh, arcade. Maybe. Uh, maybe there there was one of those games where they just used an alternate colored version of. Uh... Oh wait, Batman Returns did have an arcade version, and Player Two was a blue Batman. Oh, okay. Well, then there nice. you go. Like okay. I said, like I said, this is looking very dump cardy. Um here, let me just save some time. What is this? Skip right to the title scene, to the title screen. Oh, okay. There it is. Oh god. Oh no. Yeah, oh. dump card. Alright, dump card initiated. Oh, wait a minute. Is this is this a world building thing? Yeah, like yes. kind of like SimCity? Yes, kind of like oh, the, fir oh, God. the first yeah, part. Yeah. Dump, That's what dump I thought. Card, please. What I thought. I remember the I remember the first one and going, eh. Alright, spin it again. I actually thought this was a uh, side scroller. This could also be been... this could also be a dump card. Well, we only have one left. Mick O River presents. Oh, oh my, Mick O River. Is that an Irish River. Tennis. No. Nope. Volleyball. Oh, volleyball. Hey, look, it's hyper badgeable. Yeah. Uh, go. Go with it, only because I know there are worse on the wheel. All right. Yeah, yeah. You know what? In the words of Mills Lane, I'm allow it. There, there's, right. there's worse on the wheel. There's weese on the like world. Like uncharted waters. 
Ponzi scheme. Oh no, I, you noticed that too, didn't you? <laughs> it's oh, a Ponzi terrible. scheme. Oh no, I'd rather have a Fonzie oh, no. scheme, to be honest. Miko River took all my money. Oh, thank God, there's a watch mode. All right, I'm gonna put computer level on the hardest difficulty then, since it's uh, wa uh since there's a watch mode. Mm-hmm. Watch mode. Uh, mm -hmm. should we do men's week? Men's week? Men's league? Women's league? Or hyper league? Which one? Um. Uh, women's week. All right, we'll go with the women. All right. Le women's week. All right. So who should we? We got. Spania. <clears throat> I want to say that's Denmark, but uh, I'm not sure. Brazil. U.S. Uh, that that I think that's France. Oh, is it? No, France. Actually. France is uh stripes or sideways. Uh, Japanese, oh. Chinese, China. dirty knees. Look at these. Uh, this is I don't know what flag that is. I forget. This I don't just fucking. I don't know um, what the fuck that is. Is that supposed to be the USSR? No, it can't be. I don't know. Uh, but then you have I think I'm these are all like. B versus the BBB. The what now? The at the very bottom, the CCC versus the BBB. Okay. Whatever they yeah, are. Let's see. The, the battle of the letters. CCC Today's versus matchup. BBB. Today's matchup is versus... Versus... Cocaine. Oh, wait. E e <laughs> I'd like to think that that's just what that referee said when he blew the whistle. E Ooh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Why is it already seven to seven? By the way, I I, I don't wonder. know. <clears throat> Does that say Chikara on the right side? I don't. Uh, I see Mizuno and Spalding. That does say Chikara. Uh, that does say Chikara on the right side. Yeah. That's so weird. Eh? Nope. M. Chikara. Mias. Uh, e e these, these are all actual brands of things. It's cool. Because I, I am familiar with... Well, I know spall I am fam They make balls. Well, because I'm, I'm familiar with Spalding and Mizuno. Um, oh, wait, no, no. I think that's... Tachikara. Because that's supposed to be T-A at the beginning. Tachikara. All right, it's 9-7, to seven, even though we've only seen two points scored. Um, yeah, Tachikara is a volleyball company. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I wonder if you put it... Is this Hyper League or... No, it's a Women's it's League. Movement. It's Women's League. Hmm. Spike point. D D D D D D. King D D D. D D D. Oh man, the seat, the the Kukus are really. Those, those are all volleyball brands because even Molten is a volleyball brand. See, I didn't know huh. that. Ugh. This is, uh, scintillating. Charge ball volleyball. Introducing the original ball. charge ball volleyball. The ultra quick charging, long lasting, glow in the dark ball. $69. Nice. nice. Ball Somebody... will charge under any LED light, but for optimum results, including brightest and most effective charging, we save. recommend use of a charge bag. Ch charge bag living in a movie. Uh, Somebody volleyball pro kit includes softball and soccer ball. Somebody was trying to create a uh, a basketball that glows in the dark. I've seen videos about that. Yeah, uh, well, years ago there used to be uh, uh, 
the uh, the freaking football that would like the the light would die very quickly because like you'd kick the ball and the bulb and it would freaking like instantly die. You know, I, was that, I feel like that was a Nerf product. I think Nerf eventually bought it, but yeah, this company Chargeball, I guess, uh, has since uh, basically cornered the market on it. Because they've got uh, football, volleyball, uh, softball, soccer ball, and even basketball. King Moose Guava Juice. <laughs> Giant Snake Birthday Cake. Yeah. yeah. Large Fries uh, Chocolate Shake. Basketball, 119 bucks. 119 bucks includes the uh, charging uh, bag and the uh, ball. I'd rather have the green, the ball itself the green Moose is, and the Guava uh, Juice. 99 bucks. <laughs> Hit, kick, and throw just like a regular ball. That's, boor that's boring for 100 bucks. I'd rather the ball, like, the hover in midair and spit vomit everywhere like in the exorcist <laughs> to possessed volleyball <laughs> I as well get a fucking mad ball while you're at I want the volleyball to do my taxes give me a blow give me my yearly prostate exam has no hands mm -hmm. I don't know how I'll do that ah! alright I just wanted to say Very that carefully. it's fair that's a fair point. That's how most doctors try to do it. It's very carefully. They don't want to damage your anus. That'd be very bad. The Luminator. That's what it was called. That just sounds like Arnold Schwarzenegger on the toilet. I've been trying to get this pulpy out of my bottle for like 10 years. I am the Luminator. <laughs> Oh. I How am I going to have my delicious brownies when I when I have poopy in my pot? Speaking of brownies, <laughs> oh, she's dead. <laughs> she's dead. It was a bit over dramatic, don't you think? It's just a volleyball. It's still good. It's still good. It's gone. I know. Oh! So, uh, Den Denny's is going to have a special menu for Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. Really? Say everything twice? Uh, Ooh, yeah! Say everything twice. Yep, uh, they got the Say It Three Times Slam. Um. And then Bloody that Mary. Uh, so you, so you, eat your, you eat your dinner and Bloody Mary comes in and murders you. Got it. <laughs> uh, three silver dollar chocolate chip pancakes topped with vanilla cream, chocolate sauce, chocolate chips, and green sprinkles. The silver dollar pancakes? Uh, Have they been watching Winona yeah. Ryder's nude scenes in other movies? <laughs> uh, served with uh, three eggs cooked your way with three strips of crispy bacon. Uh, the afterlife melt. Mm. Uh, named as such because uh, it'll probably send you to the afterlife. Uh, this triple cheese threat is made with fried mozzarella sticks, melted American and provolone cheeses, grilled between two slices of artisan bread, served with tomato sauce for dipping, and wavy cut fries. And to tie into the movie even more, it's served with uh, Ortega's uh, salsa. <laughs> Uh, the Beetle Juicy Burger. Ugh. Um, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't sound very I, I don't think I would want to eat something called the Beetle Juicy Burger. Three quarter pound patties, three oh, strips geez. of crispy bacon, three slices of provolone cheese topped with signature diner Q sauce, pickles, uh. onions, tomatoes, and lettuce, all stacked high on a golden brioche bun served with wavy cut fries. 
Can you, the, can't they call it something that's not Beetle or Juicy, like in the title? At least, <laughs> let, at least not both of those words together. That was a juicy burger. That was oh. a juicy Beetle. Oh. Candy, <laughs> cookies and scream shake. Shake, okay. but not from fear, with this treat made with premium vanilla ice cream, Oreo cookie pieces topped with whipped cream, more Oreo cookie pieces, and green sprinkles. Rubbery. Can I also just uh, point out how Jenna Ortega just seems to be getting all the, the, the prime, like, goth roles, like, dream roles? <laughs> Wednesday Adams and uh, Lydia Dietz's daughter. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. Doesn't hurt that she's gorgeous. Just saying. She no, she is attractive. Okay. You're right. She was really, she's really good in Wednesday. I think the second season of that is coming pretty soon, too. I believe so. Yep. I watched the, I watched the first season when it came out. I really enjoyed it. Um, expected mid-2025. Okay. I mean, that's not that far away. I think we can hold out for that. I personally enjoyed the uh, the the pop songs turned into orchestral versions. Um, that was a nice nice little touch they did. What was that one that they had Wednesday playing on the uh, cello? I forget off the top of my head. Um, I have to look it up because I can't remember off the top of my head. <clears throat> so, uh, so apparently the uh, nothing else Terminator, uh, The Terminator anime that uh, dropped onto Netflix recently is oh, really and good. Paint, and Painted Black. I was going to say Painted Black and I didn't think that was the right one but apparently that was but nothing else matters the 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 orchestral the cello rendition of nothing else matters is probably my favorite piece of music they used that that first season I was watching it with my roommates and I immediately the first like six notes and I was like oh that's that's Metallica <laughs> that much of a music nerd I am and Man, some some of these freaking like spikes just knocking the players dead. I mean, that person clearly has CTE by this point. I mean, come on, <laughs> how does she not have CTE? Donate, donate my brain. She's like, like fucking drooling all over herself at this point, probably. So she's JD man. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no couches involved. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the only time he drools when he sees some naga hide. Oh. <laughs> is that a lazy boy? Oh, you're, you're, so na hurt. you're so naughty, Naga Hide. <laughs> mm. if, if there was a porn star named Naughty Naga Hide, I would so be it. Uh, my dick would explode. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, if I become president, I've decided I'm going to remove all the couches from the Oval Office. We don't need that. It's the, That's just a it's distraction. The same That's right. Maybe we'll build. Maybe maybe we'll put those at the border instead of a wall. We'll just build a bunch of couches. We'll never see JD Vance again. Or <laughs> Senor Senor JD Vance is fucking on the couches at the border. He's fucking the border wall. <laughs> why? Are you, why is he fucking the border wall? He's he's local. <laughs> J.D. Vance has moved to Mexico, except he's not taking any of his pants. He said he never needed them. Hey! Buh-buh-buh one. 
Who won? Why is, that, <laughs> why is it start? Set? Oh, that was a set. Uh, thoughts on Hyper V Ball, Dan? I think we're done with this. Um. So much like when we played the rugby game, Ooh, shit. I have a suspicion that something like this. It's better watching it actually on television or in person rather than a video game. Uh -huh. Because this was just, uh, yeah, super boring. Plus, you yeah, I mean, I was watching real people play volleyball in in the actual sand at the rec field, like where I work. Plus, you get the actual added bonus of being able to hear the players grunt as they are hitting the ball. So. Ooh, yeah. Andy. <laughs> no, not like that. <laughs> anyway, Floyd the Barber does not play volleyball. Uh, Jason. Yeah, you know, uh, watching the people in the actual rec field where I work was way more interesting than this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wasn't into this. Uh, I've never really been a fan of volleyball to begin with, but... And uh, playing it in video game form just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't grind my gears, you know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. maybe it does, I don't know. Uh, scores out of 10, Dane. Two. Jason. Three. I'm going to go with a one. <laughs> it was funny when she got hit in the head. Yep, concussions are funny. <laughs> Noted. Concussions are funny. Yeah, man. That's, that's why Dana White is still in charge of UFC. <laughs> What's a concussion protocol? I oh, don't know, man. Oh, man, I love protocol harm. They did that stung shades of gray or whatever. Whiter shade of pale. Yeah, that's it. A paler shade of dick. That's right. Or something. I don't know. Mech warrior. Correct. By Crack Division. Oh, Austin Powers Fasha Corporation. <laughs> Beam software. Yes, that's in Beam this software elsewhere, please. Thank you. This this is a franchise that is still going to this day. But where is it going? Uh, most recent release was in 2019. Jesus. Yeah. Mech so, Warrior 5. Ah, so COVID killed it. Nice. All right, cool. One, The one thing COVID killed that we don't care about. Um, Let's see uh, here. First game was... Uh, this was originally developed by Dynamics uh, for <laughs> MS-DOS. Darkwing PC Lance! Sorry, I just had to do that. <laughs> it says and uh, the Sharp X68000. Darkwing uh, Lance. So it was yes. ported yeah. uh, in Japan under the name Battletech Ubawarita Seihai. Oops, excuse me one moment. Was that the phone uh, call you're waiting on? Mm-hmm. Huh, there was a live-action film that, uh, never happened. Of Mech Warrior? That's, okay. Yeah. Uh, known in Japan as Battletech, uh, on the SNES... First person action battle game um, set in the Battletech universe. Uh, oh, shoot. Okay, so Mech Warrior, known as Battletech. Battletech. Battletech is a tabletop game. That then spun off into the Mech Warrior 
PC game somehow. Interesting. Mode 7. The SNES game was based on the original PC Mech Warrior with updated graphics that used Mode 7 instead of the PC version's flat shaded 3D. Okay, that appears. Beam Software yeah. is now known as Chrome Studios Melbourne. Uh, they went defunct in 2010. Mission complete. Okay, I did it. Yay! <clears throat> you think you went too far? No, I don't think I went too far enough. Newsnet. January 7th, 3027. Okay, well, this is far enough in the future that... None of us will be alive to see it, so that's it's good that they picked the date that far ahead. Uh, renegade yeah. mercenaries known as Darkwing Lance have been declared outlaws. Anyone with information should report <laughs> it immediately. So, so they're outlaws, so that means they must get dangerous. Prince Hans Davion presented... Lieutenant Andrew Redburn with the Silver Sunburst for his actions in the Kittery. I don't know what seven of those words were. Oh, ambush. Nice of him to wait on that. Hi there, my name's Curly. It's Cyril. Whatever. My name is Surly. How is about Cyril? that? Surly? Maybe Surly. Surly Duff? Yeah. Listen, if you want work, there's some jobs on Galaton, and if you want to talk to someone, feel free to drop by any time. Oh, and by the way, if you hear anybody, drop any planet names, such as Galaton. Remember them and select a contract with that same planet name at GHQ. Sure to lead you to more information. But don't rush straight off to fight on Galaton. But first, you should go to the mech complex and upgrade your armor or weapon systems. Holman missiles are best. Yes, sir. I will go upgrade my meat. Or actually, so, I don't know. So, uh, Battletech had a 13 episode animated series, apparently, in 1994 that aired on uh, Fox Kids. Interesting. Produced by Saban. Mac ready. Let's go down on this mode 7 flat texture. Kaboom. He exploded. Oh, nope. Get back up on the road. There we Weapons. Go. Polcon, Polcon, and Mgun. <laughs> yeah, it's like Hungry Hungry Hippos. Polcon, Polcon, Mgun. Oh, there's another one. Hold on. Yay! Yeah! I dude it. There's no doubt about this one. The battle was won before it began. Good to know. Let's go, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to buy a mech, but that's alright. Let's see. Cool.
Yeah, homie missile. That's what Powered I want. Powered up to the max. All right. Let's go back and get another mission. Let's do it. Um. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. I wanted to go to. Uh. Oh, first of all, let's go in here and see if there's any new news. Oh, there's a new thing. Sholust, Larman Sholust is the name. Harris, is it? It's nice to meet you. I've been in the business for quite some time now, and I've learned that if you're smart, you'll reap the rewards. But if you're not, you're certainly in for a mighty tough time. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. How did you do out there? Still fancy yourself as a mech warrior, huh? Well, if you're up for a little something different, try Zacapa. Before you go to that battle, make sure you go get your mech reloaded and repaired. If you have enough money left, upgrade your weapons or armor. I already did all that. Thank you. Let's go do this next mission. It is on Zakapa. Let's do it. Load out. Uh, yes, this one. It's got the homing missiles. The homing missiles. Oh, it's a it's Hoth apparently. Destroy Emini Mex. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Ha ha, bitch. Get absolutely fucked. Oh, there's a, there's like three this time. Nice. You should blow up. Thank you. There's a fourth one. You should die. Thank you. Huh. Kevin Kelly and the boys have filed a suit against AEW. Yep, I heard about that. Did you hear that when they fired Kevin Kelly, Tony gave him like a very small severance package and then immediately took it right back? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty pretty shitty. I need that money for the cocaine. <laughs> Uh, JR says that uh, Kevin Kelly and the Tates will run out of money before uh, Tony Khan does. Well, yeah, Tony Whoa. Khan's a billionaire. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, they're going to run out of money first. Listen, I know you knew around. I, feel like, oh, I feel like the boys got jerked around by AEW. Holovid. Whoa! Hello. Um. Wow. Julia? <laughs> Lana Man reporting. I've received and decoded my latest assignment, and you can be sure that I'll be on the tail of the dark, dark wing lance for as long as it takes to bring them all to justice. My next report will be from Kagrin. All right, I guess that's where I'm going to be going next. All right, let's go to Kagrin. I see no reason to wait. Going to Kagrin. Offensive campaign. He's just going to go to the planet and say the N-word repeatedly. It's quite offensive. Oh, wait a minute. There's some damage. Better go fix that, I guess. Yay! Alright, now we're good. Let's roll out. Transform. Autobots, let's roll. Transform and roll out. Stop enemy mechs entering base. Okay. Form of a tampon. <laughs> Shape of a bucket of shit. Yeah. I think that was actually an adult swim sketch. He was like, form of crap. And he turned into uh, a bucket of crap. Form of the... bath water. <laughs> well, the tampon was a family guy. 
Yes. Yeah, I think uh, I think it was uh, bath. The uh, bathwater was uh, robot chicken sketch. Yeah, probably. Speaking, also. Of, speaking of robot chicken, fuck you, Seth Green. You piece of shit. What did he not? You, ca- you, did he not call you back for a roll? No. Back in 2016 or something like that, his animators were trying to unionize, and he basically threatened their jobs because of it. Oh. Oh, wow. So, I, 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 I ain't down with a clown, Charlie Brown. <laughs> I, 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 I. The name's Miss Yurda. Miss Yurda. I'm going to throw me some. So, uh, Amazon drivers complain their ability to sing along with the radio is being stifled. I need help with security yeah. duty. Well, I, I know just the guy for that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay might rhyme with Mason Blamhurst. Anyway. <laughs> so, you know. Supposedly, they're using onboard cameras monitoring their drivers and going, oh, you're singing along to the radio. That's distracted driving. You know, that's one of the reasons why I would never want to be a Amazon driver because it's like, what? You have the air conditioning on? No, no, no. You're, you're looking around a little too much. I think you're distracted. You're not getting shot? Nope, that's not going to (laughs) stand. No, no, no. You're not being stabbed repeatedly? I can't. I don't think that's going to (laughs) fly. It's not going to Marty McFly. Uh, Thoughts on Mech Warrior, Dane? I know you didn't see a whole lot of it, but. Um. It. Um. Green spotlights. (laughs) Yeah. And and um, that says Cho down there. I think it's GHQ, but okay. Cho, yeah, it's the Margaret Cho building. Uh, Jason. <laughs> you know what? I mean, this is uh, pretty impressive that they uh, took this MS-DOS game and, uh, you know, they zhuzhed it up for Mode 7 and, uh, you know, mm-hmm. not, not too bad. Yeah, it's all right. Um, considering it's uh, it's it's partially like strategy, partially like first person shooter, almost. It's it's fine. Scores out of ten, Dane. Um, Rambo three. Uh, Jason. Six. I'll give it a five. How, how are you going to quantify Rambo three? I don't know. <laughs> That's it's easy. It's, it's three. <laughs> oh. You gave it a three. Uh, oh, excuse me. On this episode of the show, we played Batman Returns, Hyper V-Ball, and Mech Warrior. Best game of the episode, Dane. Batman. Uh, Jason. I'm Batman. Uh, uh, Batman. Batman. Uh, yeah, Batman Returns is the winner. Hey, uh, if you enjoy what we do here on Retro World Lab, please be sure to hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Jonah, Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody.